Martin Scorsese, Garlic Knife, and Pitch for Father of the Grooms. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China, who also produces the Billy Joe Rubido line of knives, often made from found steels. This is a new garlic knife, particularly inspired by the movie Goodfellas. And I also have a pitch for my own movie, Father of the Grooms. This is Hovey Smith. I am the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China, which also produces the Billy Joe Rubido line of knives, made often from found seals, the author of 18 books, over 600 videos, a public speaker, a person who talks and speaks on business at an international level. I have created a new knife. This is the Martin Scorsese Garlic Cutter. I am also the creator of a new concept for a movie, Father of the Grooms. This movie takes place in Kuwait, Sicily, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Its characters include an American of Sicilian ancestry from Baton Rouge, his two sons, two nice ladies from Sicily who were to be their intended brides, some conflict in the Middle East, some conflict in Sicily, uh, volcanoes, churches, a marriage, and a miraculous recovery, and all told in a comedic fashion. Now this is a movie that Scorsese has not made. Uh, Scorsese has been making more recently very dark movies indeed. Uh, lots of blood and profanity and blah blah blah, usually involving uh, mafia figures or people very deeply involved in religion and conflicted thereabout. Well, this has some of that too, but it's also a comedy. For it takes two brothers, quite unlike each other. One is a U.S. military officer. The other is a very creative individual who, unfortunately, can never manage to quite finish anything. Both of these are out of their immediate relationship. Their father and mother want grandchildren. And these guys are of an age where they need to sort of get things done. Well, the plot is hatched. The father is to take these two guys back to Sicily and is to introduce them to some nice Sicilian girls through family connections which he has. And a marriage is arranged, they go to Sicily, guys get married, they come back with their brides, and they start to produce some progeny. Well, things do not go quite as smoothly as planned. Although both guys do, for their own reasons, sort of reluctantly agree, uh, their sister, who happens to be a hairdresser, and their uncle, who happens to be a flaming gay owner of the beauty parlor, and the mother all go to Sicily. And there they meet their relatives. And there is also a character, Luigi the Claw. Now Luigi now finds himself somewhat unprepared as the third member of the Mafia family in Italy, in control. Now Luigi has some particular likes and dislikes. He has previously been the enforcer. And uh, Luigi early on was involved in archaeological explorations in Sicily as a young digger. And he became enamored with ancient Sicilian harvest tools, of which this is a modern example that I make with Hobie's Knives of China. And he is involved with these, and he is called the Claw because he lost a hand due to a botched attempt to kill him by using explosives in an automobile. So he is a nice guy, and as it turns out, it is one of his daughters 
who is to be the intended of one of our guys from Louisiana. And he would not take a refusal very kindly. Unfortunately, in Sicily, some adverse events have happened. As it turns out, there has been a very severe crackdown on the Mafia. And both the first and second in command of the family had been arrested just a month before they arrived. Nonetheless, they're told to come ahead. Well, their comings and goings are not unnoticed by both the FBI, by the Italian Armed Forces, and the organization that is investigating the Mafia activities in Italy. Well, our newly arrived are wine and dined and taken to the family vineyard. Uh, they're taken to an olive pressing, they're taken to a cheese making, they're displayed at these elaborate meals, the whole family is spread out there and this meal lasts for four hours each. They're introduced to their new prides to be and they take the money. Uh, and they want to get out of it. Well, they enlist the help of their gay uncle and also of a certain Irish priest who has been stationed to Italy by the name of Father Flack. And a suitable plot is hatched uh, involving a pair of handsome Italian gay guys. And they manage something and it goes not too well and they try to take them into the Mafia family and that goes not too well. And they come up to the instant where they are to be married before the church. Burr! And through a series of events that evolved during the plot, uh, they are rescued in the very nick of time and taken home without getting their throats cut. So the whole affair has a happy ending. As it turns out, uh, the girls do find solace, each in their own way. And so do the guys on the other end. So this is a comedy in the Shakespearean fashion. Not a ha-ha-ha comedy, but that's a lot of fun in that. So this is a pitch I want to give to Martin Scorsese. If you know Martin, I don't, if you do, uh, tell him that this guy has named his knife after him, and he's done some outrageous things, and said some things about him, and he should see this video. And now, in the manner of good fellows, we shall slice some garlic. Very thin indeed. Not quite as thin as the razor blade in good fellows. Very close. That's good. And what's not to like? If you know Martin Scorsese, well, put us together. I think profit will result. It'll be a good movie. We'll both have some fun. We'll all make a little money. We'll see some interesting things. You'll have a chance to introduce some young actors, uh, four nice, attractive guys, and three absolutely beautiful girls, and go to Sicily and have great fun doing it. For now, this is Hovey Smith. Reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. This is a banner of our new company, Hovey's Knives of China, and some of our interesting knives that are inspired by Chinese designs of 2,000 years ago. This is our Billy Joe Rubido chef's knife made from a piece of old scythe steel from the 1850s and a bread knife made from that same scythe. 
This is a rib flipper made from a piece of steel salvaged from an old lawnmower. If you are interested in producing either a book, audio, video, TV, or movie based on this story, you can contact me at Hovey Smith at BellSouth.net. For information on my books, blogs, and more than 600 videos, you can go to www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.